dealer owner and salesman commit odometer fraud, get busted, and get sent to jail. More dealer bad guys in the news, folks. Yep. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Wow, what a string of dealer crimes that have been popping up in the news of late. In this story, a dealership owner and his wingman, a car salesman, rolled back mileage on cars before reselling them, please say, an investigation reported on by WSAV News Channel 3 out of Kentucky. Police investigators said they determined that dealership owner Eddie Howard, pictured here on the left, and salesman Donald Adams, pictured on the right, were involved in the odometer fraud. Are you noticing their lovely orange jumpsuits? <laughs> yes, these are courtesy of their new home away from home, the Davies County Detention Center, yep. right where they belong. You have to admit this is a pretty fast response to a complaint by the Owensboro Police Department. Police first found out about this in February. Well, these two yahoos in Kentucky were arrested Thursday, April 13th, after police say they rolled back mileage on used cars at a dealership before reselling them. The Owensboro Police Department said officers received information in February that workers at the discount motors in Owensboro were tampering with the odometers. Investigators said they determined that dealership owner Eddie Howard and salesman Donald Adams were the ones involved in the fraud. It seems that crooked dealers are the gift that keeps giving, or should I say... <laughs> keeps stealing from society. Mm -hmm. We've been saying, friends, that the local police are another great way for you to file a complaint. And as we see here, it has a big and immediate impact. Yep. To compound matters during a search of the business on Thursday the 13th, besides finding evidence of multiple cases of odometer fraud, investigators seized $350,000 in cash. That's a lot of greenbacks just had laying around. Yeah. Three guns, more than 100 oxycodone pills, two vehicles, and electronic devices used to carry out fraud. Wow, typical ignorant thugs. Way to get sloppy and leave stuff lying around that gets you into even more trouble. Owensboro Police said in a news release that they launched an investigation into Discount Motors after receiving information about the alleged criminal activity in February. They said they found that Eddie Howard, 63, the dealership owner, and Donald Adams, 60, his wingman car salesman, were working together to use electronic devices to commit multiple acts of fraud. Both were booked into the Davies County Detention Center. Both men were charged of 20 counts of tampering with a wow. motor vehicle odometer. Both men are also charged with trafficking and controlled substances and prescription controlled substances not in a proper container. So there's a little heaping on of crimes going on here. Do you know why dealers do this kind of stuff? Well, because there's a huge financial incentive and most of the time they just get away with it. Based on all the contraband type stuff laying around during the investigation, they were clueless and quite sure they'd never be caught. This time, fortunately, they didn't get away with it. And beyond the 20 known cases, the Owensboro Police Department said they believe there are more victims in the area and they are still investigating. Guaranteed. I'd encourage the police to dig deep because there's almost guaranteed to be more and they could go back for years. The department's traffic unit initiated the investigation and then called in federal and state law enforcement officers for help. So we got the feds involved too. Totally. With dashboards being so much more involved and complicated than years ago, a great question is, how the heck are they accomplishing odometer rollbacks? A simple search reveals that a digital odometer can be rolled back by removing the car's circuit board to alter the odometer reading. Aside from that technique, fraudulent individuals can also use electronic rollback equipment to tamper with these devices. How does it work? It hooks into the vehicle's electronic system, and that's how the car's circuit board gets altered. Either way, the end result is that the mileage display is edited to read whatever number the person who's tampering with it puts in. Therefore, it's crucial to check for signs of odometer rollback. Up until the early 2000s, manual odometers dominated the market. These simple devices consisted of a set of gears and were turned by a series of flexible cables. These cables connecting the odometer and transmission would usually spin inside a protective metal tube. The speedometer gear spun these cables. Mm -hmm. It was connected to a set of gears that turned a numbered dial that showed the mileage and was accessible and fair game to far too many fraudsters. This brings up memories of the Matilda movie, which I love, by the way, where Danny DeVito's character is spinning the odometer backwards using a drill. <laughs> Matilda says, Daddy, you're a crook. And Danny says, Listen, you little wiseacre. I'm smart, <laughs> you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. 
Yeah, he's not any of those things. <laughs> that wasn't the case at this Kentucky dealership. As a result of the investigation, Howard and Adams were both arrested for the following charges. Trafficking on controlled substance, first degree. Tampering with motor vehicle, motorhome, odometer, 20 counts, and possibly more. Prescription controlled substance, not proper container, first offense. There were some funny comments from area residents from the Owensboro Police Department Facebook site. A Marty L. Miller said, Gotham Adams has been crooked for years. I guess you could say his reputation precedes him. And then a guy named Hunter Lotz innocently asked, did they at least try and sell extended warranty? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Now, as you'll learn in a moment, both of these guys have previous rap sheets. More on that in just a moment after this message from our very own Mary Jo. Hello, I am Mary Jo from the Homework Guy team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications of upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on our ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? As Kevin said, and not surprisingly, both of these guys have a previous rap sheet. Howard, the dealer owner, has been previously charged with assault in the fourth degree, domestic violence, business employee failed to return, or failure to pay taxes with intent to evade tax. And the salesman got him Adams, as Marty Miller <laughs> describes him, has previously been charged with criminal abuse, second degree, assault in the fourth degree, criminal oh. trespassing in the third degree, two counts, and criminal mischief also in the third degree. Seems like he's back to his old tricks, criminal mischief. And now he gets free clothing like a jumpsuit with limited color choices. Orange. Yes, I also wanted to give our viewers an update on the special announcement we made regarding a new hassle-free car buying service coming soon. If you texted us or emailed us at the contact information appearing on the screen now, well, you're on the list to be notified as soon as it goes live. If you're just hearing about it right now and you'd like to be on the list, you can also contact us through this information. But go back and see this video. Three major reasons to wait until after June 2023 to buy a new car. Dynamite information in that video. This new conveniently easy car buying service launching soon is one of the three reasons you should wait. And I'll have more information to share about how it will all work after a phone call I have with the company CEO later this week. We are greatly appreciative of the opportunity to be able to buy a vehicle homework guy style without all the hassles and forced fees and unwanted add-ons. We hope that today's show helped put you on the lookout for odometer fraud and make you aware that if it ever does happen to you, you should immediately notify the local police. I hope you can also see with all the excitement coming over an opportunity for an all new way of buying cars soon in the market, you should subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on upcoming THG announcements. For our newest viewers, you can also connect with the Homework Guy team on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information on car buying and what things to watch out for, please visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider showing us some love by leaving even a small tip at any of the links you find in the description box below. You'll also see a super thanks button just below the video. Thanks everyone, we appreciate everything you do for us. All right, if you're new here to the Homer Guy channel, as Mary Jo said and Elizabeth just reminded you, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you stay up to date on our notifications. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our YouTube family. Friends, we have bounced over 400,000 subscribers thanks to a 2,000 new subscribers over the weekend. Yeah. Welcome to all of you. And also, thanks to everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We hope you'll join us in turning the automobile business upside down this year. The homework guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.